Thanks, Rita. Uh, hi, Annika, and well done at it. Um, Annika, it seems like you, you had quite a, a deliberate plan to, to hit the ball straight at today than you have been in the last couple of, of matches. Uh, was that something you were working on, and, and did you find it was a little bit easier to do that today? Um, yeah, I think so. I have been working on it um, for a while now and I just feel it's a better option on these wickets um, and you get your value for your shots here. So um, yeah, it's something I've been working on and, and trying to sort out. <laughs> and then just in terms of pacing the innings, I mean, it, you, you got off to a really good start, but was there a point where you had planned, you know, this is when we're going to pull the trigger or, or did you feel you were on track by the point that you got out and then it was up to the rest to get to maybe 160, 170? Um, yeah, I think I think we had uh, an all right start um, and then we started to catch up eventually, but I think yeah, about over 10 or, 10 or 11, Laura and I said um, that, that we should probably go for it. Um, I think at a stage it was only... It was her saying she'll she'll start going for it, and then after yeah, like I said, eleven overs or something, we said okay, we both have to try and go now. Um, yeah, I, I think in the middle period um, I struggled a bit at a stage, but Laura was was hitting it well, so so um, yeah, we just try to keep going. <laughs> Thanks for those, um, Ananya. Please go ahead. Hi, Ananya. Um, I today. Um, Thanks. Just wanted to know. Um, I guess, what, what do you think worked for you guys today? And, you know, what were the discussions after, I guess, the previous game as a batting group? Because you kind of haven't fired um, as a collective um, until, I guess, today. Um, what were the discussions coming into this game? Yeah, I think just um, showing, showing more intent um, up front, especially in the power play. Um, I think we probably could have still done better than we did today, but it's, at least it's been an improvement. Um, so, yeah, we spoke about that a lot. And... Yeah, just because the wickets we're playing on, the fields we're playing on, so good. Um, and yeah, we just we, you get values for your shots and just try and basically keep it simple and, and you'll get values for your shots. Um, and just personally as well, you seem to have kind of come into your own as a batter um, this past while. Um, and this tour, you, you really, really stepped up with the batter as well. Um, I guess, um, what do you think is really working for you? Um, what's your mindset been like? Is there going to change at all? Or is it just, do, do you just feel like you're starting to feel more comfortable at international level? Um, yeah, I guess I'm just trying to stay positive um, and doing the simple things right and just trying to stay in a good headspace, um, not overthinking things, um, not trying to, to kind of like premeditate things or... And um, yeah, just to stay calm, even if there's pressure, just to try and remain calm and, and just back yourself and trust yourself. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ananya. Um, any further hands up? Yeah, Ananya, please. Hi, Fidos, back to you, thank you. Thanks, Peter. Um, Annika, with you know, an opportunity now at the top of the order for you following Lizelle's retirement, uh, just how, how have you seen the way that you've, you've taken this opportunity and, and what do you still need to do to feel like you've nailed down the spot? Um, yeah, for, uh, I think I've still got a lot of work to do to, um, to kind of keep that spot. Um, obviously, Lizelle's a massive loss and she's, a very, um, she's one of the best in the world and a very attacking player. And um, yeah, I think to kind of change your... Um, game plan or just try to be even more aggressive in the beginning or show more intent. Um, yeah, I think that's something that I still um, need to work on. Thanks for those. Um, if you don't have any further questions, 